Today, I want to talk about something I see constantly. People upload CSV files to ChatGPT or Claude to analyze their data. And then they get frustrated because it doesn't work right. The numbers are wrong, or it only looks at part of the file, or it forgets what you were talking about halfway through. You're not doing anything wrong, you're just using the wrong approach. So let me show you what's actually happening and how to fix it. All right, so what actually goes wrong when you upload a CSV to ChatGPT? First, these AI tools can't see your entire file. They have limits on how much data they can look at. So if you upload a spreadsheet with tens of thousands of rows, it might only read the first few hundred and guess about the rest. That's why when you ask what's the total revenue, the number might be completely wrong. It's not calculating from all your data, it's extrapolating from a sample. Second, there is no memory between questions. Every time you ask something new, the AI has to reread the file and start over. It's like hiring an analyst who forgets everything after each meeting. Third, the AI is trying to do math in its head. And LLMs are really bad at math. They're amazing at understanding language and writing code, but they're not calculators. When it tells you the average is $47.82, that might actually be $51.15. It's just guessing. And fourth, your data disappears when you close the chat, when I analyze the same file tomorrow, upload it again. For quick analysis on tiny data sets, this works fine. But for real business analysis, it's broken. Here's what clicked for me. AI is incredible at two things. One, understanding what you want in plain English. Two, writing code to get it. But AI is terrible at being the actual computational engine. It shouldn't be doing the math. It should be writing the queries that tell a real database to do the math. Think about how data analysis works in companies. You don't ask a data analyst to memorize your entire sales database and do calculations in their head. That would be insane. You ask them questions. They write SQL queries. Those queries run on a proper database. You get accurate answers from a complete data set. That's what we need with AI. Stop asking it to be the database. Start asking it to write the queries. The AI should be your interface to the data, not the storage. So here's the better way. You need three pieces. One, a real database that stores your data, an actual database, not the AI's memory. Two, the AI that understands your questions and writes SQL queries. Three, a connection between them so the AI can execute those queries and show you the results. When you do it this way, here's what happens. You upload your CSV once, it goes into a real database, then you ask questions in plain English like normal. The AI writes a SQL query behind the scenes, runs it on your actual data, and gives you the answer. The numbers are right because they're coming from real SQL queries on your complete data set. The AI isn't guessing. It's translating your English into database language. And your data persists. Upload your sales data once on Monday, analyze it all week, no re-uploading. This is how you should be using AI for data analysis. The AI writes queries, the database does the work. Let me give you some real examples. Say you're analyzing sales data. You've got a CSV with all your transactions. You upload it once to the database, then you can ask, what were the top 10 products by revenue last quarter? Show me average order value by customer type. Which products have the highest return rates? The AI writes the SQL. The database calculates. You get accurate answers. Or maybe you're looking at marketing data. You've got ad spend from Google and Facebook in different CSVs. You upload both. Now you can ask, what's my blended cost per acquisition across all channels? Which campaigns have the best ROAS? Compare performance month over month. 
the AI can write joint queries across multiple tables. So you combine your ad spend with your order data and get real ROI calculations. This works for any business data, financial reports, customer support tickets, inventory logs, website analytics, email campaigns, whatever you're analyzing. Okay, so how do you set this up? The product I built for this is called AIDB. You can check it out at AIDB.sh. Let me walk you through the exact steps. First, you need Claude Pro or ChatGPT Plus. This uses something called MCP servers, which only work on the paid plans. In Claude, go to your settings and find custom connectors. In ChatGPT, you need to enable developer mode first, then go to custom connectors. Add a new MCP server. The URL is mcp.aidb.sh mcp. That's it. This creates a brand new AIDB database specifically for you. It's yours. Nobody else can see it. Now, when you start a new chat, you'll see AIDB in your available tools. Turn it on for that chat. Next, get your data ready. If it's a Google Sheet or a file in Google Drive, make sure the sharing is set to anyone with the link can view. The MCP server needs to be able to grab the file. In your chat, just say, create a table from this Google Sheet and paste the link. Give the table a name, something like sales data or whatever makes sense. The AI will create the table in your database. Then here is the key step. Ask it to sample the table and suggest interesting questions. Say something like, sample this table and tell me what kind of analysis I can do with this data. This is the cool part that I didn't expect when I built this. Once your data is in a proper database, the AI can sample it and suggest questions you should ask. So you're not just getting better answers to your questions, you're getting better questions in the first place. The AI looks at your data structure, it sees what columns you have, what the data looks like, and then it says, hey, based on what I'm seeing, here are some interesting analysis you could run. This is huge because even if you're really analytical and experienced, it's hard to think of every possible question. The AI sees patterns and relationships you might miss. So you upload your sales data and it might say, you could analyze repeat purchase rates by product category, or it looks like you have timestamp data want to see hourly trends. Questions you might not have thought to ask, but now you can just click and get the answer. The AI will look at your columns, your data types, what kind of values you have, and it'll give you a list of interesting questions you could ask. Pick one or ask your own question. The AI writes SQL, queries your database, and gives you the answer. Uploading CSVs to ChatGPT is easy. It's right there, drag and drop. But easy doesn't mean it works well. And when you're making business decisions based on data, the numbers need to be right. Use AI the way it's meant to be used. Let it understand your questions. Let it write the queries. But let a real database handle your data and do the computation. You get better answers, you save time, and you don't keep re-uploading the same files. Plus, you get suggestions for questions. That alone is worth it. The AI helps you think of analysis you wouldn't have thought on your own. The MCP server is at mcp.aidb.sh slash mcp. Set it up as a custom connector in Claude or ChatGPT. Takes two minutes. Upload your data once, get suggestions for what to analyze, ask questions, get accurate answers. If you'd like access to AIDB, send me a DM on LinkedIn.